Good morning from my spotless kitchen. I've got some soup on the stove. I've decided that I'm gonna have soup for breakfast. It's leftover soup, it's actually corn soup. I'm so excited to eat it. And I'm trying to find, I'm in the mood for a documentary. Hold on you guys, let me just turn my AC up because it's a little, it's a little warm in here. Anyways, I'm trying to find a good documentary to watch on Netflix. I just don't know what I feel like watching, but I'm in a documentary mood, you know what I mean? I already watched The Mind of Aaron Hernandez. I watched Tiger King. I watched I Am A Killer. I loved I Am A Killer. That was amazing. Oh, I watched First and Last. That was, that was not bad. I watched American Murder, The Family Next Door. That was crazy. I watched Jeffrey Epstein, Filthy Rich. Hmm. Oh, I watched the Fire Festival. That was a mess. I don't know. I'm gonna scroll a little bit and see what, or maybe I should just do suggestion. No, no, no. You're filling her head with nonsense. You and the history books. I'm telling the truth. You post a real history for the doubt. Okay? I will. I don't know who that is, but I'm going to tell you this. He's in story. Gettysburg was very important. Okay, guys. How many videos do you think I'm behind on comments? <laughs> Place your bets. Let's see if you guys are right. I know I answered comments on my beefy noodle stir fry. After that, I posted a video called I Feel Like T-Pain because um, I don't even know if you guys got the reference, but T-Pain, T-Pain did not realize that in Instagram, if you go into your DMs, there's another like column called requests from people who, you know, you don't follow. Or so he was missing like tons and tons of DMs. But anyways, um, I don't remember if I answered comments on this one. Let's go ahead and check. Oh man, I didn't. <gasps> I didn't. So that means I am one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six videos behind. Okay, let's see what the people are saying. Okay, you guys really like my struggle meals, <laughs> which is hilarious to me. So thank you. I don't know why I do that, but yeah, like I absolutely despise wasting food so i will always like go in my fridge cook the oldest stuff it doesn't even have to go together i'll just make it go together you know what i mean um some people <laughs> like i said i was gonna make cabbage i took cabbage out the fridge you watched me cook the cabbage i called it cauliflower and everybody is just confused like a whirlwind like what i basic reasoning skills guys basic reasoning skills you're watching literally watching what i'm making like i cannot make it more clear than that come on the amazon video actually took me longer to get through the comments than i thought like i'm so surprised that you guys liked that video certain types of content don't really do that well on my channel but you guys really seem to like the amazon finds so i think i will do a follow-up video for you and you guys like the way i filmed it in that kind of vlog style like carrying you around um, the house showing you the items in their place so yeah that's something that I can definitely do again in the future Whew, let's see I have three more videos to go including today's video oh man <laughs> this one has so many comments 161 it's called it's extremely racist <laughs> let's see what the people are saying and a lot of you guys from one of the previous ones I forgot to mention really really loved me bringing you to the beach which i am so happy about because you guys know the water is my like whew, serenity now sis like the water centers me like i'm so glad i live near water you know what i mean and yeah so toronto does have nice beaches as you guys can see we are on lake ontario which is one of the five great lakes um and so yeah maybe i'll try to take you guys we don't have much summer left you know we do have short summers here but maybe i'll try to take you guys to a couple different beaches um before the before the summer's ended i'm almost caught up i have two left this one is called i hate everything and this is where i went out i actually had two events i had well not really an event i just went out for dinner with the family but I just felt like I had nothing to wear and I, I was like, I hate everything in my closet. You guys all really loved seeing Mama Daly out for dinner. Um, my sister is my bestie. Like it was nice to get together with everybody. It was a really cool vibe, you know, a little saxophone player. It was mad chill. We had a great night. Um, so both of the events, if you'll notice, we were outside. So 
sitting on our patio eating can't wear a mask when you're doing that and <laughs> also we're on a boat um outside we have a mask mandate here indoors but it's not required when you're outside and obviously it's impossible to wear a mask while you're eating and drinking so also shout out to daphne love you are the only person who noticed that i took my tongue ring out so what had happened was i actually had a dentist appointment back in june and i had to update my x-rays of course when you update x-rays you can't have jewelry particularly in your mouth where they're taking x-rays so i took my tongue ring out forgot to put it back in and so yeah it just started to heal and i didn't want to jab it back in there so i have no tongue ring anymore you guys maybe i'll try to go to a piercer and have them put it back in or re-pierce it plus you know we were on lockdown anyway so i couldn't really go to a piercing shop but yeah it's been a couple months since it's been out and you are the first person to comment on it and notice so shout out to you girl you get what do, what do i give out five tonette bucks i don't i don't know don't i don't know what that means all right last one you guys it's called moment of honesty it is the vlog that i uploaded most recently and it was basically a clean with me vlog if i'm being honest um i needed to deep clean my kitchen girl like it was just getting out of hand you know what i mean so so i posed the question how often do you clean the top of your fridge <laughs> i was just curious because like you never really think to go up there right it gets pretty dusty though that's for sure some people say once a year some people say twice a year some people say only if i need to get something off the top of it <laughs> Yo, Glamazzini kills me. She said, I clean the top of the fridge about once a year ever since you shamed me in another, another video years ago. You guys, I, I don't be trying to shame y'all. Yeah, and I did buy my mop because of her. I linked it below in the description box in case you guys are interested. It's um, It's got like a spin you know bucket so it like dries, it rings the mop dry. It does have a telescopic um, handle which I love because I don't have like tall cupboards so I can tuck the handle into itself and just push it right on under my sink cabinets which is perfect 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 and again basic reasoning skills you guys like this is my channel it's called tony daily so obviously you're going to see me cooking and like me cleaning because i'm filming myself does it mean the girls don't clean no does it mean that the girls don't cook no it means you're watching tony daily's channel that's that's it <laughs> um i think that's it you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and then you know what time it is lunch time all right guys nice clean kitchen you guys can hear marley you want to go outside she wants to go outside girl she tap dancing around marley is chilling so i'm just gonna leave her to enjoy her deck and we are going to see what what to do about lunch as usual my fridge looks kind of bare i like to use everything in my fridge I, i've told you guys this multiple times like i like to use all my food before i go grocery shopping because it helps me not waste right so i'm just gonna go through see what i got and make a meal out of it i have this steak here it's a pretty small one so instead of putting it on the grill i'm just going to chop it up all right, so here's my steak. I decided just to um, cube it and I'm gonna turn it into some sort of stir fry because if you just slap a steak on the grill, that's pretty much just for one person, right? But I can stretch this, okay, AKA struggle meal. <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw some seasoning in there real quick. What did I put in here? I put some black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, some paprika. I actually ran out of paprika, you guys. I use paprika quite often just for color, like, doesn't really taste like anything to be honest unless you're using smoked paprika but yeah i'm all out um what else did i add i added some parsley some mixed herbs and some worcestershire sauce worcestershire worcestershire this <laughs> i added some worcestershire worse listen McKenna, McKenna, do it. I didn't add salt. I don't really add salt to every single thing I cook. Like, I try not to use too much added salt. Plus, some of the other seasonings do contain salt anyway. So, yeah, that's that. 
Okay, time for my favorite part, cutting up veggies. Let's see what I got left in here. Garlic and scallion, definitely. Peppers and onions, obviously. <laughs> um, I've got some cabbage left, but I feel like I'm over cabbage. Let's use some broccoli instead. Ooh, yeah, beef and broccoli. That sounds delicious. When the peppers have babies inside, it makes me literally want to vomit. Like, why? Why are you growing another pepper inside of you? Okay, I'm pretty much ready to start cooking. Um, I've got my vegetable medley over here. So you can see I've got broccoli, red peppers, um, bell peppers, scallion, and garlic. My beef is in the fridge still. I've got my cast iron wok with some vegetable oil heating. I've got my kettle going because I plan on like adding a little bit of water. That's one little tip. So just a tip when you're adding water to your like beef dishes, don't add cold water because like bringing the temperature down and up, down and up, it can make the beef more tough. So boil some water, have some boiled water ready on hand so you can just only add hot water to your dish. And yeah, at this point, you know what it is. I'm gonna light this Zen candle. This is actually from a black owned company called Seventh and Oak. It's a wood wick candle. I just started burning it yesterday, so I haven't really um, used it for too long, but yeah, we'll see how I like it. Um, I burnt, I started burning this after I cleaned my kitchen instead of my good old trusty lemon one. So yeah, I'm just gonna burn my candle and put some tunes on Alexa. Oh, she heard me. So I'm gonna put you guys down for a bit and um, we'll chat when I'm done. Alexa, play Jodeci. This is Jodeci from Spotify. broccoli is almost done and I think I'm going to serve it with some cauliflower rice I got this pack at Walmart or riced cauliflower same thing a nice light lunch right all right y'all I am ready to grub. I'm actually starving now, so. Good timing. You guys, lunch was so good. Y'all have to try that, okay? Y'all gotta try it. I know I told you guys I would try to start measuring when I cooked. <laughs> I didn't do it this time, but I'm gonna start doing it. And then that way I can share the recipes, but. Yeah, I'm back in my office. As you can see right now, I'm gonna take care of a little bit more administrative stuff. I did comments this morning. Now I'm going to clean up my inbox and try to get outside and squeeze in a walk. Um, 
before it gets dark because it's so beautiful today. It's so beautiful. 